Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm going to tell you a Bible story from Daniel chapter 6. Remember, Daniel's in the Old Testament. And we talked about some of Daniel's friends last week. You remember that um, king, the king had built a, sta a golden statue of himself and said everybody had to worship that. And um, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego refused to um, worship that statue because they knew that they should only worship God. Well, in this week's story, we have Daniel, who was their friend. And again, Daniel had been given a very high position in the king's um, staff. And um, there were some people that were jealous of him. And so what they did is they went to the king. They went to King Darius and they said, King Darius, we think that um, you should um, make a law that says people can't pray to anyone. Um, and so King Darius made that law. Well, of course, Daniel disobeyed it. He still prayed to God every day and about three times a day. And so the reason these men did this is to get um, Daniel thrown into the lion's den and have the lions eat them because they were jealous of him. So when King Darius found out that Daniel was praying, he had to do something because he had made the law. And if there was a law, he had to give the punishment out that was um, supposed to be given for that law. And the punishment was he was going to be thrown into the lion's den. So at night, they put Daniel in the lion's den. They let out some very hungry lions into that den. And King Darius was very upset because he really liked Daniel and he thought Daniel was an excellent employee. And he told Daniel, I hope your God can protect you. And then he went back to the kingdom, you know, to his palace. And he came back the next morning and during the night, Daniel had prayed to the Lord to protect him from the lions. So the king came back in the morning and said, Daniel, Daniel, are you there? Did your, did your God protect you? And Daniel said, yes, I'm okay. Um, the Lord shut the mouths of the lions and I'm fine. And so again, God saved Daniel just like he did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. This time not from the fire, but from the lions. I'm going to say a little prayer for us now. And, and I want all of us to remember that God will protect us too if we remember to pray for him and ask for protection. So let's bow our heads now, close our eyes, fold our hands. Dear Heavenly Father, oh, we thank you so much for the the perfect things that you tell us in the Bible, that you show us how you protect your people and how you love us, Lord. And we ask that we always remember that we can go to you, Lord, and ask for protection or for help from you, Lord. I ask that you be with these children this week. In your name we pray. Amen. You guys have a good week and we'll see you next week. Bye.